Louisiana is one of the poorest states in the U.S. It's home to Angus Carter. As a young man, he went to jail for petty crimes. While in prison, he discovered he was HIV positive. Once I was released from prison, I was released from the Department of Public Safety and Correction sick. Throwing up, I mean sick, barely could walk. The state is meant to provide free health care for people without the means to pay for it. In practice, however, such care can be hard to come by, especially in remote areas. This is the only clinic in southwestern Louisiana where poor people like Angus Carter can get treatment. He depends on assistance from the state. When the clinic's one doctor is not available, there is nobody there to help. I'm trying my best, but seriously, Dr. C, my jaw swole up, they hurt, my headaches, they there. Angus Carter got infected nearly 20 years ago. He was a heroin user and shared needles with others. That's probably how he contracted HIV. Mimi Alvarado came to Louisiana from Nicaragua in the 1970s. 13 years ago, her partner at the time infected her with HIV. Initially, HIV and AIDS mostly affected homosexual men, but that has not been the case for decades. Anyone can be infected. Treatment for poor patients is itself often poor. The financial crisis has decimated public health care budgets. We did have to make some very difficult decisions and reduce some of our contracts with our community-based organizations and service providers in order to you know, look at cost containment compared to trying to provide everything for everybody. As a consequence, Mimi Alvarado has to shoulder more of the costs of her treatment. I used to get this for free, now I'm paying. My paycheck is very, very little. This is the HIV meds, dinner, and before I go to bed. Still, she is relatively lucky. Experts say many people who are HIV positive in the U.S. do not get any treatment at all. That's also true in Louisiana, which has one of the highest HIV infection rates in the U.S. If you see in the South here especially, all these states in purple, they are states where people are on a waiting list to get HIV medications. Angus Carter no longer has to wait. He is receiving treatment, but he still worries about the quality of his care. His wife tries to cheer him up. He says he will not let his medical condition get him down. 